was just thinking that if the, if the Hubble constant had a variation in time, that would probably describe it. Maybe your formulas might point to how it might vary in time. Or we have a locally uh, varying um, Hubble constant. Um, well, that yes, you, you, you raise a whole bunch of interesting issues here. Uh, look, this, look at how presumptuous science is. First of all, all of modern physics is based around the concept of constants. The central, and some of these are non-dimensional constants, but some are not, like the speed of light. Well, uh, the speed of light has been measured on this planet since 1906. Less than a hundred, uh, uh, just under a hundred years of measurement in a, in a multi-billion year old universe carried out on one planet. And from this, you make the grand statement that the speed of light in all times and all places will obey this law of velocity? Give me a break. It's, it's just, a, it's just a, a kind of a joke. Uh, and yet, to admit that there is a problem here uh, would seriously undermine the premises of science. Things are worse than that. Throughout the 20th century, of course, the speed of light has been measured many, many times. Now, uh, the same value is rarely obtained. Now, the f f all of physics depends upon this being a universal constant. So when you point out to them that the same value is rarely obtained, they, s they wave their hands and say, ah, well, this has to do with the limits of the instrumentality, a term which will not be further defined. <laughs> This has to do with the limits of the instrumentality, and uh, we, they're just hitting around it, right? So at first, you, the uneducated layman, you think, well, that makes sense, I suppose, they're just hitting around it. But then you go back and you look at these measurements of the speed of light, and you know what? They don't cluster around the point. Since 1906, successive measurements of the speed of light seem to imply that it's incrementally going slightly faster. The set of data points is drifting slightly across the thing. Well, now, how, if it's at the limits of the instrumentality, can you possibly explain that? Well, this became such an issue in the astrophysics community, and check this out that what they did is in 1972, they defined the speed of light. <laughs> and, they, and they said, this is the speed of light. And all future calculations should use this number regardless of what the instruments are telling you. A, a, mem a momentous turning point in the evolution of scientific thought. At last, nature itself is deemed no longer necessary for the study of nature. And in fact, it just gets in the way. Uh, Anyway, I can go on at great length about the foibles uh, of science, but... Uh